guidance counsellors have a very positive role to play in the college. Um, certainly uh, many of our students would come with issues and um, because of those issues they will need additional supports and as I said already we really want our students to succeed so whatever extra supports they need in terms of guidance and counselling then they will get from their designated counsellor. The guidance end of things very much involves progression routes and where students might go um, or want to go once they finished a course in the college. So they come into the college with a view to looking into their future already straight away and that's part of the role of guidance in the place. Um, and then the other role is very much a counselling role where we look after students and support students with personal difficulties or issues who may need a bit of extra support, a bit of planning um, and that type of thing that will, will help them to succeed. I suppose we're very keen on making sure that our students have any help they need to succeed. Guidance and counselling has grown and become, um, I suppose, more in demand lately, particularly, I mean, we hear all the time about mental health issues and young people's mental health issues and how they struggle. So I suppose part of what we do is fill a role that will support them with mental health issues as well. And that frees them up and allows them to engage in the classroom that they might not ordinarily be able to engage with. So it's a very, very important role. A lot of our students come with challenges and that though we want to fill that gap and support them to overcome those challenges. And many students will come and do a QQI level five and succeed. And for them, that has been a huge challenge and a huge success. And we need to acknowledge that and be mindful of that.